Mom, Dad, you should know how to take care of your baby's sensitive skin. Are you wondering if your child has eczema? Well, 1 in 10 children have eczema, or it is also known as atopic dermatitis. It is an ongoing skin problem that causes dry, red, and itchy skin. In this video, we will talk about eczema, what causes it, um, what are the risk factors, we will also talk about common questions you might have and also how to take care of baby skin and how do doctors treat it. Hey, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquet. I'm a board certified pediatrician and my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to raise happy and healthy kids. <laughs> Eczema in babies and young children. What does eczema look like? Well, it can be different for each child. It may appear all over the body, or in some cases, there are just spots. And also, the skin may be worse, which we call flare-ups or exacerbations. Or, the skin might get better, which we call them on remission. The rash changes over time. In babies, they are commonly seen on the face and the scalp. In babies, uh, there might be red, dry, itchy skin on the cheeks, forehead, and around the mouth. The diaper area is usually spared. Eczema is not commonly seen in diaper areas in babies. In young children, common spots for eczema include uh, elbow creases, the back of the knees, and um, on the neck. So what causes eczema? In eczema, there's a problem with the skin barrier. In people with eczema, there's not enough of the special protein known as filaggrin, which forms the outer layer of the skin and forms a strong barrier between the body and the environment. So, genes in the environment both play a role in eczema. Also, eczema tends to run in families, and they're more commonly seen in families with history of asthma and allergic rhinitis. Children with eczema may also have food allergies, although the food allergy in itself does not cause the eczema. Now, what are some of the common questions you might have? One question I always get is that, do children outgrow eczema? Well, for some kids, it goes away by four years of age, but in other children, they continue to have dry, sensitive skin until they grow up. It is hard to say though which of the children will outgrow eczema. Another common question is, how do you know if the skin is infected? Well, on top of the dry, red, itchy skin, some kids can get bacterial or viral infections. Let your doctor know if you notice yellow crusting or scabbing on the skin, if you see pus or pus bumps, uh, weeping, oozing skin, or skin that is not getting any better with the usual treatment. Now, how to take care of baby skin? First, give baby a bath every day, and preferably do it in 10 minutes or less. Use warm water, not hot. Then, second tip, use an emollient on baby's skin. The perfect timing is immediately after a bath when the skin is still moist. And use it once a day or you can do it more often depending on the weather. Third tip, it is helpful if you use a vaporizer at night in your child's room. Just remember to cleanse it regularly. And fourth, use a fragrance-free non-soap cleanser. You can ask your doctor about it. And then, fifth, in using a detergent, make sure that it is additive-free and fragrance-free as well. And sixth, the best fabric for a skin with eczema is cotton. How about treating eczema? Well, before we go to that, are you expecting a baby? How much better life can be when things are under your control upon baby's arrival? Where you feel confident about breastfeeding your baby and know how to go about it. When you know how to soothe a crying, fuzzy baby. 
when you know when to worry and call the doctor, when you know how to recognize the signs of postpartum depression, and know how to take care of yourself as well. How to give baby a bath? Well, how much better life can be when you can get the training in the comfort of your own home? Well, I've developed an online training video series known as the 5 Newborn Care Strategies. Do check that out in the description section. How to treat eczema or atopic dermatitis? Doctors check four aspects. The first is to moisturize the skin. This is to repair and maintain the skin barrier. Second is to reduce the itch. Third, to treat inflammation. And fourth, to prevent and manage skin infections. The first step in eczema treatment is to moisturize the skin. Moisturizers or emollients are the main treatment in mild eczema and it is an important step in moderate to severe eczema. Apply moisturizers as needed to dry skin. The best timing is immediately after a bath when the skin is still moist and at least use it once a day or more often as needed. Moisturizers or emollients can come in lotions, creams, or ointments. It is best to ask your doctor about which one is best to be used for your child. The next step in eczema treatment is to reduce the itch. Well, itching is caused by the dry skin and it is addressed by the daily application of emollients or moisturizers. But in some cases when eczema is active, it is helpful to give your child a bedtime dose of antihistamine. It may provide sedation, improve your child's sleep, and as well as reduce scratching. The next part in eczema treatment is to treat inflammation. This can be addressed by the use of topical steroids applied two times a day. Ointments are preferred over creams because they tend to be more effective and better tolerated. But choosing which topical steroid to use would depend on your child's age and the area to be treated. So it is best that you ask your doctor about which steroid cream or ointment is to be used. And once the inflammation has been treated, the topical steroid is then withdrawn and emollients or moisturizers should be continued regularly. Then, preventing and managing skin infections. In some cases, Staphylococcus aureus colonization uh, in the skin should be addressed, especially in those with severe recalcitrant eczema. This can be done by twice a week bleach baths or intranasal topical mupirocin uh, done twice a day for five days. Ask your doctor if your child needs this. Hey, if you like this video, watch my next video where I teach you about other child health problems.